Thank you very much. Next up is Dr. Hamster, which is pro with his project called Bitwork. Yeah, hi, it's Jonas, actually. <laughs> uh, before I talk about my project Bitwork, I would like to ask you, who has used uh, Blender 3D? Just raise your hand. Oh yeah, that's a lot of people. <laughs> okay, for those of you who don't know Blender, it's that awesome 3D rendering package. Uh, it's GPL, it has been used for a lot of movies, it has been used for uh, CGI production, it's cool, you should check it out. Those of you who have used Blender will know this problem. Rendering takes forever. It uses enormous amounts of computing power. But what if, if we had this computing power at our fingertips, massive computing power at our fingertips, and as a peer-to-peer -peer service? I know what you're thinking. There's the cloud. Isn't that the cloud? Like Amazon EC2. But actually, that kind of service is too low level to be easy to use for that specific task, configuring lots of computers and stuff. There's volunteer computing, like Boeing, Satai at home. But actually, you can't get your problem solved with it unless you're a scientist. There's commercial render farms. They do that kind of stuff. But they are expensive, and they're often subscription-based. So here comes Bitwork into play. I call it a Bitcoin-friendly, anonymous marketplace for computing power. Once installed, it's easy to use. There's no need to manage any servers. And it solves your problem, because you can offer payment. You can pay with Bitcoin. And it's also cheap because you only pay for what you use. There's one thing that makes Bitwork special. Clients can switch sites. They cannot only buy computing power, they can also sell their own computing power to the service, to others, for Bitcoin. This is Blender in action, using the Bitwork plugin to perform rendering. As you can see, the scene has been divided into a couple of tiles, and they are dispatched simultaneously to the Bitwork service. This is where the speed up comes from. This is Bitwork's own user interface, and it shows what Bitwork is doing, and also how much uh, Bitcoin you have left in your account. This is Bitwork's homepage. So what's next? There's going to be a 0.5 release soon, and there's also going to be a beta test. Uh, I'm going to use real transactions, real Bitcoin transactions, and you will be able to transfer money into the system and out of the system. There are also some issues yet to resolve. One issue is uh, reliability. How do you make sure that the answers you dispatch uh, the, the answers you get from, from other participants, that they are correct. The other issue is privacy. At the moment, you dispatch your work to multiple clients and you have no control over who gets the work. So you can't use Bitwork at the moment for privacy-sensitive uh, projects. But it might be still cool. Bitwork is free software. Both the client and the server are released under the GPL. Please check it out. All right, so we might have time for one or two questions. Please raise your hands and a microphone will magically appear near you. So your program works for Blender. There are many other programs as well that have um, considerably high um, computing peaks. Are there any intentions to, um, yeah, to, to, to make it usable for other programs as well? Thanks for the question. That was what I forgot to mention. <laughs> uh, 
uh, yes, there's much opportunity to grow into that direction. There's lots of other rendering engines, and there's also lots of other software that could profit from peer-to-peer -peer computing, such as scientific computing, cryptography, lots of stuff. And that's something that I, can, that I hope you guys can help me with, uh, making it a real community project. Thank you. All right, one more question. Uh, the person in the purple sheet turret. Well, I have a question from IRC, which is uh, Bitcoin mining included, but, well. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no Bitcoins included. But you can make Bitcoin. You can, you can uh, have your computer work, so you get some Bitcoin if you put your computer to work. All right. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you.